This video is a brief overview of the Understanding by Design Stage 3 process. Please refer to your UBD template as each section is presented. Stage 3 is the Plan Learning Experiences stage. Stage 3 focuses on what we teach and how we teach to ensure that the instructional plans align with the desired results identified in Stage 1. In other words, Stage 3 is the learning plan for the students. In designing the learning plan, keep in mind that the teaching should be engaging and effective for all learners. The work should be thought-provoking and meaningful. The students should be encouraged to delve into the subject for deeper understanding. Effective means that the desired results are obtained and thus learning is successful. Three sections of the Stage 3 UBD that will be reviewed include Where To Learning Plan, which will be reviewed in depth, self-check, and peer feedback. Let's begin with the Where To Learning Plan section. Where To is an acronym for the seven core design principles that serve as a guide to the instructional plan. The question to address in this section is, what teaching and learning experiences will equip students to engage with, develop, and demonstrate desired understandings? Group each key teaching and learning activity with its appropriate where-to location. The W stands for helping the students know where the unit is going and what is expected. It helps the teacher know where the students are coming from in terms of prior knowledge and interests. We address goals, relevance, and diagnoses. Goals or SMART learning objectives are identified. SMART is also an acronym that stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Results-Focused, and Time-Focused. The H stands for hook all students and hold their interest. Identify how you will hook and hold student interest. How will technology be used in the unit to hook the students and get them interested and engaged? The first E is for experience and equip. What equips the students to experience the key ideas and explore the issues? How will the students uncover the meaning of the unit? It is the teacher's job to equip the learner to make meaning and perform with understanding. The R is for providing students opportunities to rethink, revise, and refine their understandings and work. This is key to the understanding by design process. The premise of the UBD process is that big ideas must be regularly reconsidered so that prior understandings are challenged and deepened. The two key areas to address are how will students be given the opportunities to rethink, revise, and redefine their work in the unit? And how will the students have time to improve their metacognition and self-regulation skills? The second E stands for evaluate. Formative feedback is provided to the students so their work can be improved. The main question to address is, how will students get formative feedback so that they can improve their work and move toward mastering the learning objectives? Formative assessments occur while learning is in progress and they may include formal and informal processes. Examples include verbal quizzing, ungraded quizzes, observations, and debates. The T stands for tailoring. Tailoring the learning to different needs, interests, and abilities of the learners. Differentiation is a framework for tailoring instruction and assessment. 
Carol Ann Tomlinson is a differentiation expert who proposes that teachers can differentiate instruction in four ways. First, through differentiated content. Second, through individualized process. Third, differentiated product. And fourth, through personalized learning environment. The O stands for organized. How will the unit be organized to help your students develop more effective habits of mind? How will your unit be organized to allow your students to develop more effective technology skills? And how will you, your unit be organized to use technology to analyze student data and to interpret the results to improve instructional practices. The second section of the Stage 3 UBD template provides a self-check of Stage 3. The first nine items address the WHERE TO acronym. The last item is a self-reflection. The third and last section is the peer feedback provided by an evaluator to give feedback on the design of the unit with comments and suggestions for improvement. A second page offers the instructor more reasons for self-reflection. Other resources are also offered to help you use the Understanding by Design template that are listed here.